In today's video, we're gonna have a look at court guitars. Hey guys, welcome back to Squealing Pig Guitars, the home of luxury shred machines here in Nottingham, England. My name is Ben Keatley, and in today's episode, we're going to be reviewing the Court G290 Fat 2 guitar. And before I carry on with this video, I must add a disclaimer notifying you guys that this video is sponsored by Court Guitars, but all the opinions in this video will be my own and honest. Court Guitars is a South Korean guitar manufacturing company located in Seoul. The company is one of the largest in the world producing guitars. They have factories in Indonesia and China and actually produce a lot of the big brands that we know and love. The factory has over 2,000 employees and the majority of the factory team has been building guitars for 10 years or more. Between the Court Electric Guitar Factory and their Acoustic Guitar Factory, Court has production capacity of over 1 million guitars per year, making Court one of the largest guitar producers in the world. The guitar I have today is the G290 Blue Burst, and basically this guitar is kind of emulating that super strap look. It almost looks a little bit like an Ibanez AZ when you look at the you know aesthetic choices. You've got a roasted maple neck, a lovely flamed top, and obviously them chrome covered pickup. So let's talk about the specs first. So to start off with, this guitar has incredible features for a guitar that is priced at 599. This guitar has a two point tremolo, locking tuners, graph techno, roasted maple materials. Um, it's a very high end spec for a guitar at this low price point. So to start off with, we have a body of older with a flamed maple veneer with this blue bright burst on it. We have white binding, and as we move our way onto the neck, we have a roasted maple neck and fingerboard. And we have a Tusk Graph Tech Black Nut, which is really good for tuning stability, and I've noticed how well this guitar keeps in tune, thank you to the nut. For pickups, we have a set of Voice Tone VTH77 set. We have one volume, one tone, and a five-way switch. And we have the Court CFA Free Tremolo. Obviously, a company like Court is going to save on using their own brand of tuners and hardware and stuff like that. But all of this stuff was really high end. When I played it, the tremolo stayed in tune nicely. The locking tuners do their job. The Graph Tech nut is incredible. Obviously, that's not made by Court, but it's still a great kind of premium option for this guitar. The switches all work. There's no dirty pots. And the guitar is set up very nicely from out of the box. Visually, it obviously looks the part as well. That flamed maple veneer is very, very beautiful. And the neck has this beautiful V shape. I tend to play more like vintage instruments like, you know, Jazz Masters, Strats, Les Pauls, all that type of stuff. So I like a little bit more girth on my neck. Um, and this one was very comfortable. Another very premium feature that you also see on Ibanez guitars is that we have the loom inlay on the side of the neck. These are basically glow in the dark side dots. So when you're on the stage and your lights go out, you can still see what you're doing. So let's see how this guitar sounds. Let's plug it in. For today's demo, I'm using my Kemp Profiler rig with an AC30 preset, a little bit of reverb, a little bit of a compressor, kind of classic setup for me on these videos. So let's hear it. So guys, welcome to the tone demo of this amazing cork guitar. To start off with, we're going to be on the neck pickup with a slightly broken up tone on my Kemper Profiler. I have an AC30 preset and I've got a little bit of reverb going, so let's hear it. a beautiful warm tone almost reminiscent of um kind of like a free free fire that's a really nice quality to it that i absolutely love this neck carve it's kind of like a soft v a bit like a 60s or 70s strap really really nice um staying in tune really nice as well so this is position two you 
can hear that a bit more of a split sound, a bit more single coily. Let's hear the middle pickup. And then this is the position four, a bit of like a Mark Knopfler type sound. Lots of tonal versatility with these humbuckers, um, getting all the way from kind of Gibson-esque tones all the way to Fender tone with more stratty single coil sounds. Let's hear the bridge pickup, I think it's going to create a little bit of hair. That's what I like about a bridge pickup that, especially on like a crunchy setting, it just, you know, feeds the amp a little bit too much. You get that break up, but it's not too overdriven, so it still could be clean if you roll down the volume a little. Very nice sound. It's not too ice picky like a lot of bridge humbuckers. So let's do a loop with that and hear all the different pickup selections. So yeah, they're the clean tones from this amazing cork guitar. Let's turn up the gain on the amp and hear some more metal tones.
In terms of playability, this guitar feels amazing. Most of the guitars that I demo in Squeal and Pig guitars are, you know, rare, very expensive guitars um, from the Gibson Custom Shop, Sir, that type of thing. And this guitar feels incredible. It's very, very similar feeling to an Ibanez AZ or a Sir guitar. The intonation is perfect. Thank you to the Graph Tech Nut. We have some really good tuning stability and the locking tuners will obviously help that as well. I think for that classic fusion sound, think Guthrie Govan, Martin Miller, Tom Quayle, that type of realm of guitar playing, these guitars are really perfect for that. Obviously you have the single coil sounds as well. So let's hear some more tones before we wrap this demo. <laughs> So now I'm going to switch down to a real crystal clean setting on my Kemper amp and play some kind of more finger style and Hendrix style playing. So let's hear it. <laughs> So guys, what are my final thoughts on this court guitar? So as I mentioned at the start, this video is sponsored, but all of the opinions in this video are completely my own. Um, I absolutely love this guitar. I think it's an incredible value instrument for 599. The most important features about a guitar is its tuning stability and its tonality. And this guitar had incredible tuning stability thanks to the Graph Tech Nut and the tone from these pickups was incredible. The Graph Tech Nut allows the strings to move freely, the locking tuners help, the tremolo is nice and reassured. It's a very nicely set up instrument and I got this straight out of the box. In terms of tones, the main tones that I liked was the neck position and the bridge position. I do think that the position two and four are a little bit anemic sounding, they're a little bit too thin for my liking, um, but the neck humbucker and the bridge picker on their own sound incredible and they had a really nice tone. This guitar really dealt with gain nicely, it had a nice snap of a super strap. Um, I had a really good time playing this and it had lots of sustain for a cheaper guitar. And for the price point, having a roasted maple neck not only makes it look more premium and rich, it also increases tune stability and sustain, obviously, because there's less oxygen in the wood. My only criticism with this guitar is that, obviously, at 599, I think it should come with a gig bag. I got this guitar just directly in a cardboard box like you'd get an Epiphone, for example. So I think that is my one gripe with this guitar. I think it could come with a gig bag to make it a bit more of a premium package. But that being said, this guitar is extremely good value. It looks the part and it stays in tune most importantly. So there are all my thoughts. So my rating of today's guitar will be eight out of 10. But most importantly, guys, let me know in the comment section below what you think of this guitar. Did you like it or did you not? Let me know down below. Whilst you're down there, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our channel for more videos so we can get bigger and better guitars on this channel. But thank you so much for listening to this Squealing Pig Guitars video and I'll see you tomorrow for another one. But until then, keep rocking guys, I'll see you soon. Yeah!